Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Moore, a pulmonary and critical care physician here at CHI Health. With all the recently identified cases of vaping-induced lung injury, we felt it important to reach out and let people know what the dangers potentially are associated with vaping. We've seen a large number of cases throughout the United States reaching around 530 most recently with nine deaths. Here within our organization, we've seen five confirmed cases with several others that have been suspected. We know that vaping was originally conceived as a potential alternative to help folks quit smoking, uh, as well as to replace smoking entirely. However, since the inception of vaping here in the United States around 2007, we have seen the popularity increase uh, substantially over time. And we know that the vaping industry is, is currently about a $2.6 billion a year industry. What we're concerned about is the fact that we see these cases uh, that are sprouting up all over the place and we really don't know what the exact cause is within the vape products themselves. We know that uh, patients have been using uh, THC and CBD containing products in addition to nicotine, um, but we don't know which additives or chemicals exactly are causing the injury. So at this point in time, we feel the best advice to give folks is if you haven't started vaping, don't. And if you're currently vaping, you should make every effort to quit. If you're currently smoking and looking for alternatives or ways to quit smoking, I would suggest using the evidence-based products that are already out on the market uh, in terms of nicotine patches, lozenges, gums, um, and other medications that are available. Hopefully this helped uh, shed some light on the dangers of vaping and uh, help leave you more informed. Thanks.